Hey everybody, it's Sandra from The Funky Pickle. Thanks so much for coming to check out my favorite pieces that I either bought or was gifted in 2020. And I say that because this one, for example, my mom bought me for my birthday. So this is actually Bakelite, believe it or not. It is a modern made piece, I think out of old materials. And the artist's name is G. Paul. Now I think he lives in Florida or something like that. But my mom and I got this in an antique mall and this wasn't that cheap. I can't remember what she paid, but you know, usually the jewelry I get is a dollar or two or I'll pay five, but this was, uh, this was more than that. I just, I can't remember. I can't remember how much, but I love this so much. This is an awesome piece. Super cute. Always gets comments. A great conversation starter. This is a great Bakelite dog. I got this beautiful brooch this year. Look at the greens in that. I love this. I love the metalwork around this, that gold tone, how it's it's textured like that. Not marked, but I love this one. I was so excited when I found it. That's a great one. So believe it or not, I found this in a yard sale. It wasn't actually a, such a great neighborhood, but he had a lot of jewelry on the hood of his car and he said everything was a dollar each. And I just, I bought a whole bunch of it. I didn't know this was real, but it is. This is 14 karat gold and those are sapphires and diamonds. The mark is right there. So it is tricky if you don't know. Let me see, maybe we can zoom it in. Can you see it does say 14K right there, right? Hmm. All right, well, that's a little bit hard to see. You'll just have to take my word for it. So this was, this was a pretty good find last summer. I was very excited about this. Oh yeah, I got these fantastic costume jewelry earrings. Look at these. These are so mid-century. It just has this whole sort of atomic look to them. These are so mod and so cool. I don't know if they're like suns, I guess. Is that supposed to sort of look like the sun? I love these. Look at the big rhinestones in the centers of these. Those are super cool, love those. So here's one of my favorite pieces. Not only one of my favorite pieces that I got this year, but maybe one of my favorite pieces I've ever gotten. This is certainly in the top 10 for me. This is a beautiful pin and it, you can take this chain. You don't have to have the chain on it. You can take that off. And it's by a company called m &S. It is gold filled. You can probably tell by looking at it, it's gold filled. But I just love this. You could wear it so many different ways. Like this, you could, you could, like I said, take the chain off and put it, just wear one if you wanted to. But I am just crazy about these. You know, the camera is not doing this justice. This is so much prettier than my camera is showing. But I think that's pretty wild. That was a yard sale find. Here's another birthday gift I got. You know, a lot of my friends know that I love jewelry and my friend Alice told me that this belonged to her mother and she took it out of her jewelry box and gave it to me. Her mother's gone. She didn't steal it from her mother. That's what I just made it sound like. But this is an awesome salamander pin. Look how big it is. It is sterling and has these beautiful marcosites, nice red eyes. This is a special piece to me. I love wearing this. I love wearing stuff that looks like it's crawling on you anyway, just because I think it's, I don't know. I just think it's super fun. I love critter jewelry and he's an awesome critter. I got this in a little thrift store. How beautiful is this? Now this is clearly sterling and those are clearly real turquoise stones. It feels nice and heavy and it is marked. I'll show it to you if I can. Of course, it's upside down. Hold on. Let me focus that in. There you go. Mexico 925. This is beautiful. I love this. And I think this was $3. I believe they charged me for this. Isn't that nice? I love that. So speaking of bracelets, I also got this incredible bracelet. It's very, very heavy. This is very cool. And I think this might have been two or three dollars also. I think I got this one at a yard sale though. So to the untrained eye, somebody might take a quick look and say, oh, I don't see anything. It's probably just costume jewelry. Not knowing that the mark is inside this somewhat complicated catch here. 
I'll show it to you. The T stands for TaxGo, and then the D stands for the person's first name, usually sometimes last name, and then 51 is their artist number. I don't know if that's a D or an O. I'd really have to put my loop on. But anyhow, I'm just going to keep it zoomed in. I want you to really appreciate how beautiful this is. Nice and heavy, beautifully, beautifully constructed. So that's another one of my favorites that I got this year. So I was showing this on a recent haul video. This is also real gold. Look at this. Woo. I think I paid three for this, maybe two. I'll show you the mark is there. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to zoom that in. Well, it says 14 karat right there. So I do really love brooches. So these two I was thinking about keeping. I do sell gold right away when I get it. I don't usually get it very often, but sometimes I do. And what else have we got? So I got this at a yard sale over the summer. This is incredibly cool. I love Victorian jewelry. I believe this is a, a Victorian piece. And there is some sort of a mark on it. I would assume this is nine karat gold, maybe even 14 karat gold. Why is the focus doing that? Hold on. Okay. This is amazing. This is so nicely made. Look at that coiled snake. And this is an interesting thing right here, this construction. Yeah, this is fabulous. I love this so much. I kind of have a thing for stick pins. I do see them all the time and I buy them when I see them. I have all kinds of them. I'm gonna do a show on those too for you as soon as I get some time. Ha ha, ha ha on the getting time bit. So, all right, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about this amazing thing that happened in my life. I got this one over the summer and this is called a Micro Mosaic Grand Tour Bracelet. This is true Victorian. This Micro Mosaic is killer. It's almost like, let me just try turning this light off, hold on. Yeah, maybe that allows you to see it a little bit better. So, um. I did something really bad. I do have another panel for this and I'm not sure where I put it. I was admiring it and I took it out to show somebody, um, but I do have another panel for this. I have to bring this to the jeweler. It's so interesting to me when they make these types of things in the Victorian times and they're so high quality, like it's unbelievably high quality and I don't think that's real gold. I think it's only gold plated or gilt because I think I can see some places where the gold is rubbing off. Hmm. I should really take a closer look at this, but this is amazing. So a grand tour was something that gentlemen did who had money. You had to have means to do it. And you traveled the world and you studied architecture and, and all the great art. I'm going to turn it over. Hold on. So here's what the back looks like. Now, typically these have some sort of a black stone. I don't know what this blue stone is but that is just incredible. I almost passed out when I found this. Here's a beautiful gold filled necklace I got. This is by a company called Winard. Winard made very, very high quality gold filled stuff in the 40s and 50s. And this is amazing. Let me turn the light back on. Yeah, I don't know if that makes it better or worse. It's such a dreary rainy day here. And I did pay $5 for this in a thrift store. I guess they knew like it was very, very nicely made. And this is just a, a, a necklace, but it's not very long really. But that is a beautiful, beautiful piece. This one is one of my favorites that I got this year too. It was very, very hard narrowing down, you know, what my favorites were for the year because I like so many of them for, for different reasons. But I do, I do really love this one. This is incredibly beautiful. Look at that, it's in such great condition. And then this one actually came with the matching earrings. I can't remember what I paid for this one. Not much, not much. Nothing here cost really anything other than $5. That's like a little bit steep for me. And then whatever my mom paid for this Bakelite surfing dog. Anyhow, those are some of my favorite pieces that I found in 2020. Happy hunting to everybody. Thank you so much for coming to my video today. Cheers.